Welcome to today's Postgres conference webinar, CRUD Functions Generator Tool. We're joined by Javier Aral, Database Specialist, and Brenda Fierro Cervantes, Deputy Director of Information Technologies of Pemex, who will discuss CRUD operations and functions in database applications, a tool which leverages PLPGSQL to generate essential CRUD functions, and how this tool aids PostgreSQL's developers in standardizing coding style in order to simplify the time it takes to analyze table structures. My name is Lindsay Hooper. I'm one of the Postgres conference organizers and your moderator for this webinar. A little bit about Pemex and FOSS. So at Pemex, the IT group aims to promote enabling capabilities, platforms, and open source solutions, encouraging technological development to respond adequately to the specific needs outlined in Pemex. Welcome to our speakers. With that, I'm gonna hand it off to Javier and Brenda. Take it away. Hi everyone. My name is Javier. I'm speaking on behalf of my friends and colleagues of the FOSS group in Petróleos Mexicanos. Uh, this session is very special to us. It is our first participation in the Postgres conference webinar series. We are very glad to be here. The Cloud Functions Generator Tools agenda considers the following aspects, purpose and scope. In the second point, we will focus on the tool features, install elements and use cases. In the third point, we will describe the configuration and execution procedures. Finally, we are going to have a demo. You will probably receive by email a zip file called webinar.zip with a user guide, install script, and five samples of the tool for your evaluation. So let's begin. The purpose of this webinar is to share a tool to produce CRUD functions for Postgres tables with a standard coding style in a minimum time. The group tool works with Postgres tables identified by primary key fields and supporting foreign key constraints and produces functions in PLPG SQL for the following use cases. The first case is the create. The tool provides a function base on the insert statement with the proper fields of the table. Use case read. The tool delivers a read functions, a read function with select fields from table statement. If the table has foreign key constraints, the tool includes the associated tables and field relationships using the join on syntax. The tool offers a variant of the read function and adds the where clause to restrict the record selection by key values. Use case update. The tool builds a function with an update statement using the key fields to restrict the update operation. Use case delete. The, log, the tool suggests a function with a delete statement using key values to limit the delete operation. Finally, the tool uses, also it generates a create statement with the similar features of the read function. By the end of the session, you will have a tool written in PLPG SQL to produce elemental CRUD functions for Postgre SQL tables. You will learn how to use the tool to generate CRUD functions in PG Admin. You will understand the program logic behind the tool. You will identify the features supported in each use case of CRUD function, and you will recognize the benefits of the CRUD tool in time saving and standard coding practice. The CRUD function generator tool is a contribution of the FOSS group of Petrolo Mexicanos to support the SQL community. So let's talk about the tool features. The script init underscore take you underscore function dot SQL install three elements. By the way, this script on all the files, including the presentation and the user guides, are included in a, in a zip file called webinar, which you may probably receive in your email. So the three elements installed by the tool are the table name, tech you underscore tabla, 
which is uh, this table is used by the crew tool to identify which schema and tables are going to be processed. The result script will be stored in a column named June. The second element of the installation is a function called TQO underscore Lotte. This is the main function of the tool. What it does is it scans the TQO tabla and calls another function, an auxiliary function named TQO underscore genera underscore function to build CROD functions for each table marks to process. And the third element is a function called take you underscore genera underscore function with two arguments, schema and table. It uses Postgre SQL dictionaries to obtain stable attributes and types, primary keys, foreign key constraints to infer associated tables and field relationships. These functions combines tables metadata with crop prototypes to produce the functions. Uh, this diagram summarizes the tool integration. Right here, we have a function called take your lot, which scans this table, take your tablets for each table mark to process. There is a column in this table, which is, which is called processor. If it has a, a flag of one, it is indicated that it, it will be success. And uh, also this function, when, when, the, uh, when the function identifies a table to process, what it does is invokes a function called take you genera underscore function to obtain the tables metadata and combines it with prototypes to produce the functions. The script will be stored in the field name called Gion, which is this field over here. And we have here the one of the most important tools about the feature about the about the tool is the information obtained by the by the database engine. The metadata of the tables are included in this in these tables. Columns, table underscore constraints, key underscore column usage, constraint column usage from the information schema and pg class pg underscore class pg underscore namespace from the schema pg catalog these ta these tables these system tables are used by the by the tool to obtain the the metadata once the metadata is obtained it combines it with crude prototypes of these functions of these use cases and one one the the functions are included are placed in this in this uh, field okay to illustrate the cloud function generation process we are going to use three related tables the first table we are going to use is is one called pavements the pavement table has a primary key defined by these two fields pay underscore level a pay underscore journal the next table we are going to use is one called departments this this table has a primary key field which is called dev underscore id the third table we are going to use is the employees table this table uses mpid field as a primary key this is the place where it's specified and also this field has a, a serial type in this type the values are generated by the sequence, which is maintained by the database engine. In this case, the user doesn't need to insert the values. That is, they are out of it by the, by the database. The second element of this table is the inclusion of two fields, pay level and pay journal. These two fields work as foreign keys of the corresponding fields, pay underscore label and pay journal of the payment table. That is, we have a foreign key relationship established in this table. We have another uh, relationship and it is established with the table departments. Right here we have the field and we have the constraint definition 
to define that relationship. One thing to notice for the tool to recognize uh, these foreign keys requires that the, the fields of both tables, the table to process and the reference tables must have the same names. Right here we have pay, pay underscore label, pay underscore label, pay underscore journal, pay underscore journal, dep ID and dep ID. In these uh, employee tables, we have a pair of fields called insert underscore user and insert underscore date. These fields are used to store uh, who inserts and the date of time of insertion for auditing for log reasons. The same thing happens with another pair of fields is the update underscore user and the update underscore date. In this table, uh, we want to register the user who insert, the, the user who updates and the date time of update. Okay, this is a, this, this, uh, this sample data model is going to be used in the use cases. So we can have a more precise idea of what the tool does. Okay, so let's review the use cases of the functions of the, uh, the crop function generation tool. The first use case is the create. So use case read function, no use case create function. This function, this function identifies the serial types fields. That is small serial, serial, big serial of the table structures. And what it does is exclude them from the fields values to insert. The field related to update are omitted from the list of fields values to insert, which are referenced by nombre campo underscore usuario modifica and nombre campo underscore fecha modifica. They are excluded from the list because in the insert operation, it doesn't make sense to update, to register those fields. And the value of the current time step is assigned to the field reference in nombre campo underscore fetch alta. We will uh, review these, these features with an example. So, okay, we have the example for the create use case, the insert. The convention used to name the function is the prefix fn underscore table name underscore alta, which means append and the list of arguments. Right here we have the structure of the table employees. The m id m underscore id is the is the the primary key field, and we have two fields: the update underscore user and the update underscore date. And the insert that the two builds, what we have is the update user and up, an update date are not incorporated. And the EMP ID, because it is a serial type, is also excluded from the list because the database engine produces will generate this value. So for the use case of insert, the EMP ID serial types, sorry, the serial types are excluded. And if you have defined uh, fields for the update and date time for the same operation update, are also excluded. And if you ever define a, a field to referentiate the date time of insertion in this example, insert underscore date, the build, the tool will include this, this value. So you won't have to worry about the definition. And in the next slide, we have an example of the crop functions generated by the tool. We have the create or replace function command, the schema, and using the, 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 the convention we mentioned before, fn underscore the table name underscore alta. Right here, uh, the tool includes the, the parameters using the prefix b underscore and the name of the field and uses the type of field register at the table to complete the definition. And then we have the insert statement. 
we have the fields. Please notice that in this definition, we have the insert user, insert date. Insert date is not included at the parameter list because it won't be necessary for you as a programmer to pass a value to this field. This field, this field the insert date, that is the coding timestamp, is passed automatically. And uh, if the operation succeeds, it will return zero. And if an exception occurs, it will return minus one. This is the first case of the tool, the create function. The next use case is read modality one. It uses a, a functionality of selecting records by pages. The convention to name this field is fn underscore table name underscore cons with the argument list. What are the features? This function supports selects from a table and related tables at the first level, level only, using foreign key constraints. Through those constraints, reference tables and field relationships are in the identified. The names of the foreign key fields of the table and the reference fields must be identical so the tool can relate them. The select clause includes the attributes of the associated tables. The function contains two, two options, limit and offset, to emulate the paging, the browsing by pages. And the select clause shows the total number of records in the table. The field is called total underscore registros. The estimate of the total records in the table is obtained in execution time through the explain tool or using the table PG class to obtain the estimated records of the, of the table. There is a nice article about, about this uh, procedure. We have placed the, the, the reference in this slide. So you, if you could uh, review what are the considerations about using this plain tool or using the PG class. Let's see an example of this use case. Right here, we have the, the same uh, structure of the employees table. We have all illuminated the section constraints. Right here, we have the constraint with the, the department table. And in this other section, we have identified the foreign key relationships with the table of payments. <laughs> These functions, these constraints are used by the tool to express these, these relationships. We're using from the employee ID, from the employee using the alias key and using the left join on table on file relationships. This relationship is obtained by the metadata, the, by the metadata. One of the examples of the zip file includes the query to obtain these relationships. Another thing to notice, um, because this table uses, uses a relationship to view another fields of another tables, in this, this, in this read, read function case, what the tool does is to include the fields of the related tables, in this case, payments, but it uses a prefix of the table to differentiate the field names of the related table versus the field that is included in the table. We are doing this, we are adding the prefix of the table to avoid field names duplicates. For instance, we have a field called a pay underscore level because we are including in the in the list in the select list to avoid duplicates we are adding uh, the payment in this case the the table as a prefix to have payments underscore underscore paid journal the same thing happens with the another uh, table which is related which is departments we are using the 
table as a prefix to differentiate the related fields, the related attributes of the other another table, and differentiate them from the tapes from the fields of the table that is possessed. Also, in the function, we are including this these two these statements in order to obtain the total numbers of records of the table. We are using by default the functionality of the explained of the explain plan method. If you use if you hit with explain and the and the uh, the SQL sentence in this, in this case a select star from demo employees. What the explain and um, will return is an explain plan. In that explain plan it will be included the, the number of rows. To obtain the number of rows, we could, we can use the display with the format of JSON. So in this variable, in this JSON variable, we could recover the total rows. And this method is very, is very fast, but it's not, uh, it's an estimation. And alternatively, we have another method for obtaining the total of records by using the name of a call table name, pg underscore class. pg underscore class has a, a column name, rel tuples, which indicates the number of, of records of a table. This, uh, this table is updated regularly. And if you hit the analyze, analyze the rows of the table, the records, the statistics are updated, including the the name of the mod, including the, the the total records of the table. These two methods are included in the function, so you could use whatever you wish. And this is the the function defined with the syntax of create or replace function using the convention fm underscore, the name of the table underscore cons. Right here, we can see that the, in the return table, there are defined the fields of the table. And in the select statement, we are using the, the, different, the different attributes of the table to process. We have uh, an example of the read one use case using the select statement. In this function, we have the create or replace function using the convention fn underscore the table name and underscore cons. We are using two arguments, limit and offset, that will be used to paginate the results of the query. In the return tables, the tool generates us the list of the fields of the table and only it includes the fields of the table process and the fields of the reference tables. It also has a, a section where the function obtains the, the total records of the table using the execute using the execute uh, function which calls the explain plan of the process to analyze the tables analyze queries and alternatively alternatively it includes a another another method to obtain the number of records using the the table pg underscore classes the third use case is read modality two which is basically uh, the same features of the read function with the following exceptions. The key fields are included in the where clause to restrict record selection and the estimated number of record of the table, limit and offset are excluded. Right here we have the, the function defined using the 
convention fn underscore employees underscore cons underscore jar we essentially have the same fields of the red function number one with the exception that we are including the where clause to consider the key values of the table the next use case is the use case update in this function the key fields are used in the where clause to restrict the update operation key attributes are excluded from the set list by definition or by practice the key field values uh, shouldn't be updated according to that rule we are excluding the key attributes from the set list the fields related the fields related to insertion are omitted from the set list which are the references by nombre campo underscore usuario alta and nombre campo underscore fetch alta the value of the current science fab is assigned to the field reference in nombre campo underscore fecha modifica. This is the structure of the tape employees. Right here we have the update user and update date as fields for storing the, the date and the user who does the update operation. And right here we have the, sent, the update sentence built. In the set, we are excluding the, the key field and we are including the update user and the update date. And for obvious reasons, we are excluding the insert user and the insert date. Right here we have an example of the update function. We have the create or replace function and we have we are using the convention fn underscore employee underscore cambio with the parameter list and what we have is the key field excluded from the set list which is incorporated at the where clause and we are including the update user and the update date okay let's continue with the next use case. And this use case is the delete. The key fields are used in the where clause to restrict the delete operation. And we finally have a definition of the create view sentence. This create view supports the select list of fields from a table and associated ones using the following key constraints as the read function. And the select clouds include the columns of the associated fields. Let's see an example of both cases. In the case of the delete function, we have the create or replace function using the convention fn underscore employee underscore paja. And as a parameter, we are passing the, the tool passes the the uh, the pair of value of corresponding to the MPID primary key field. Right here we have the sentence is delete from the table where and we are using the, the key values to eliminate only the the that record the record who belongs to that key. If the operation goes well, it returns to zero. If there is a problem, it will return minus one. And at this section, we have a, an example of the create or replace view using the syntax B underscore and the table name. Right here we have the all the fields of the original table and associated tables using also the name of the table as a prefix of every field to avoid name duplication at the select list. And also we have the definition of the table relations using the left join table on field relationships. If we see 
the two generation as a process, we will have three steps or stages. The first step is to identify the schema tables to possess. The second stage is to execute the tool in Pulsar SQL. And the third step will be to obtain the cross functions and view the script so we can uh, execute it to obtain those use cases. Let's review step number one. In the step number one, we have to identify the tables to process. The tool uses the table public Tecchio Tabla. Tecchio Tablas is one of the elements that are installed when we execute the, the, the installation script. This table, which is named Tecchio underscore Tablas, includes the schema name, the table name, includes a field called processor. If this field has a value of one, the tool will generate the script. If it does is zero, it will not generate the script. To select which table to process, and then we have to use uh, this field, including one to generate the script or zero to uh, tell the, the tool not to generate. And we have a field which is called Gion. In this field, this field is a text field and it will be included the, the script of the cloud functions and the create view statement. Also, this table has four fields which are optionally, who were not required, but, but can be you, which can be used to identify the file name to store the user who inserts. There is also another field to store the date time of insertion. For instance, um, the field name to store the user who inserts, it could be insert underscore user or created by. In the field name to store the date time of insertion, it could be insert underscore date. The field name to store the user who updates, it could be update underscore user. And for the file name to store the date time of the update, it would be update underscore date. It's important to notice that uh, for the tool to generate the crop functions requires that the table to process to have a primary key. If it does not have a primary key, the tool will, will send a message uh, saying that it is not possible to generate the cloud functions because the primary key is required. So this is the, the first step to uh, identify the tables. We can use an user statement with this, uh, with this syntax to include the tables from uh, different schemas. In the installation the script, this table is populated with the table and the schemas of the public of the public one. So if you have all the tables in that schema, you don't have to worry about including the, the tables to process in take your tablet. If you have another schema with tables, you can use a statement like, like this one to, to do the to popul to, to do the insertion. In the sample fields, sample files of the zip file, there is one script to do this job. Step two, in the second step, we have to execute the function take you on the score lotte. The function take you on the score lotte scans the table take your tablets. And for every table mark to process, it invokes the function take you on the score genera on the score function with the arguments, schema, and tabla, which produces the code functions and create view statement. All you have to do is in PJ admin, for instance, you hit select space public, take your lot, and what we, and this, uh, and this function will produce the, the functions 
for the tables marked to process in the Tech tablets. We will review all these steps in the at the demo at the demo point of the agenda. And in the third step, we obtain the code of the crop functions and create view. What we have to do is to select the take your tablets table from the public schema in order to obtain that code. Right here we are selecting the schema table processor and guion. And we will obtain a data set. And in the guion field, if we double click, we will obtain the, the code to be used by the function. Okay, uh, this was the theoretical part. If you don't mind, we are going to review the, the demo. To illustrate the point. We are going to exchange a monitor will take a minute. We're going to switch our desktop to the PG admin tool. In the files you receive, there is one file called, uh, well, I'll, I'll be, at the user guys, you will have to define a connection to the uh, public database. We're assuming that you have that connection, you can do it later. And we are going to enter the Postgres database, which is the default one. And we will create, we will enter in query mode. In this query mode, we are going to load a file name init underscore take you underscore function. We have all the source code in this function. And what it will do is, will, is it will install three elements that we were, uh, can I move this? Okay, we have the function init underscore take you underscore function. This script will install three elements in the public schema. Okay, once the script is run, if we look at the public schema, we are going to have a table named take your tablets and two functions, take your lote and take your general function. Right here we have the code of Peculote. And right here we will have the code of Pecu General Function. And in Pecu Tablas, we will have the, the structure of the tape. So this is the first step. The first step is to create, is to install the function by the, the script we saw. Okay. Sorry. Okay. This was the first step, but we have to execute to install the 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 tool. According to user guide, the second uh, file to we will use will, will be it would be demo underscore create tables. With this script, we are going to create a schema called demo, and we will create the tables we were reviewing at the presentation. That is the departments table, the payment table, the departments table and the employee table. And they will be created in the schema demo. 
we execute the script, we refresh the schemas. In the schema sections, we review another schema called demo. demo. The demo has three tables, departments, employee, and payments. Okay. Once we have the two tables, what we need to do is to include these tables in the table take your tablets to tell the tool to use those records for cloud generation. So we are going to load the second demo file, which is called identify tables insert. What we're going to do is to include in Tecchio Tablas the names of the tables included in this schema. Okay. And then uh, we have to insert With this query, we insert the table names of the schema table in the public one. So if we use the third script, what we are going to do is to select these fields, schema, tabla, processar, guion, nombre campo, usuario alta, nombre campo, nombre campo fecha alta, et cetera from the public tables. The previous script, what it did is was to insert in this table, the name of the schema, the table name, and we put the flag in, in activation mode. We have, and we have the fields that could be used to insert, to store the insert who, the user who inserts, the date of insertion, the update date, and so forth. Okay. Next, we will execute. Once we have identi identified the, uh, the tables to process, we are going to load a script which is called O5 Cloud Code. To generate the code, oh sorry, it's not the, the query. The query is function exec. To execute the function, we will have to select a function called take your load. Once we execute this function, take your load, we will receive a result with the following message. And when the message um, the message says, The process tables were take tablas, departments, employee, payments. And it displays a message that says that if you want to obtain the code of the functions, you will have to select the fields from take your tablas. We have prepared a query for that, which is query number five. And the query number five. It will present the following fields. Right here, we have a, a record for the demo department table. And in the column guion, we will have the code. We will copy the code 
we're going to use the query tool to paste the code. And this is the code of the tool. We have the create replace function with the name of the user, the, the create user, the create use case with the parameters. We have the statement. In the next section, we have the update function. And third place, we have the functions to delete. Then we have the functions to the read function. Modality one, we have the, right here we have the columns definition. Right here we have the two methods to obtain is to get the fields, the number of the number of records using the, the explain method and commented the options to use the PG underscore class to get the same the same number, the same estimates. Right here we have the field names. And at the end, we have the view, create statement view, okay? We execute it. We're gonna erase this. We're gonna go to the pavement table. We have the same code, the functions, the use cases, and the create view. And we're going to recover the code for the curve function for the employee table. This function for the employee table uh, has the insertion of fields except the MPID field because this is a serial type. It includes the insert user, update user, and corresponding to the update, to the insert user, insert date, sorry, it is a current timestamp. And in the parameter list, it's not included the, the insert date because the tool assigns a value to a current timestamp. So the developer doesn't need to include it in the parameter list. If everything, if everything goes well, it will return a zero. If, there was, if, if a problem occurs, it will return negative one. Right here we have the case function for the update. There is a list of the fields. In the sets, in the set list, there is not included the the MID, which is the primary key. This is the function for delete. Right here we have the function for read. These are the, the parameters that we will receive, the limit and offsets. In the limit, we will, it will include the page size. And in the offset, it will include the starting point of the, of the page. In the returns table, the tool includes 
the field's name of the table. And also incorporates the fields of the payment table. And to avoid name duplication, the tool adds the table name as a prefix of that field. The same goes to the department. Right here, we have uh, also the methods for obtaining the, the total of records using the explained state the explained command and commented there is the method for using the another way to obtain the, the total of records. We are going to comment We're going to use in this case the the table PG PG class to get the number of records. If you would like to prefer to use that method instead of the explain, you can go to the to the uh, to the source code and and comment this line and comment this the two previous lines. Okay, in the select statement, we also have the fields from the table and the fields of the related tables using the table name as a prefix. Right here we have the field and right here we have the name of the table, the field name and in the alias, in the alias, we are using the name of the table and the name of the, the field. So we could differentiate the pay level from the payment table from the pay level of the employee table. Okay, right here we have the, the case, the use case of the read function using the where clause. Right here we have it. And finally, we have the create statement for the view using the same features of the read function. Okay. Okay, once you execute the function, if we go to the demo schema and rephrase it. In the function sections, we will have all the functions created. So once the functions are created, uh, the right thing to do is it would be to taste to test to test the functions. In the seed file, you receive. There is a file name demo 06 cloud testing. If you open this file, you will have an example of the functions with sample values. So you could test if the if the function is working right. What we did for to generate this this file was to select the function, go to the script section, select script, and in the select script appears the syntax to execute this function. What we did was to, to copy this uh, code for every function. I'm going to close this. Okay. 
okay. So if we would if we would like to to, to test this function. What we can do is select this field, execute this segment of the code, it returns zero. If it returns zero, there was no problem. Then this was the insert, the create case. Next, we have a, an example of the delete function. we are doing is to delete a record with the seven as the key value. There was no problem with that. Next appears the function cambio. Was no problem. And Right here, we could evaluate the read function by pages. Right here, we have it. Right here, we could use the starting point as three. Sorry, I didn't block sentence. Okay, and we are running out of time. So we're going to accelerate this part. Right here, we are using the, the select with key payments. We're going to insert. This field, we're going to delete this one. Right here, we will update this record. Right here. We will retrieve only one record using a composite key. If the employee and that the employee is stable, right here we have this inserts. And then we will delete this record. And right here, we're going to update the record. And then we are going to use the read case using pagination. We will obtain the first records, the first six records. All the first, all the fields appears in this, in this, uh, in this table. Sometimes uh, when we use the methods to obtain records at first at the first time the records are not the total number of records are not updated. So to avoid to correct that problem, what we have to do is only the first time is use the analyze option, analyze variables and the name of the table. And if we hit the statement again, you have the product number of records and
if we keep continuing inserted records regularly, this total of records will be corrected. The record is updated. So if you regularly, uh, if you regularly apply the analyze option to the tables, it will keep updating the the total number of records. Okay. With this, we could. Paginate is select. Sorry. And finally, with this function, we could retrieve only the record who has the key value of one. Okay, well, we, are co we cover the, the use cases of the tool by the demo, by the demonstration. With this, uh, we finish our talk. In this last slide, we would like to thank our sponsor for the post community. In the first place, we have our, de our deputy director of IT in the organization. Her name is Brenda Fierro. Thank you very much for your support. And we also have Marco Sorria. He is the Corporate Director of Administration and Services. Services. Also, we would like to thank our support from the personal staff, starting with Maribel Jacob, Martin Moreno, Alejandro Gallardo, Eduardo Gonzalez, Rocio Perez, Enrique Chavez, Francisco Toledo, Jesus Caudillo, Miguel González, Ramiro Gómez, Luis Mateos, Gabriela Medina, Cuauhtémoc Reynoso, Hugo Linares y Javier Saucedo. Our deepest gratitude for all these sponsors and managers for giving us the opportunity to work with FOSS Solution. Thank you so much. Amazing. That was so thorough. Thank you so much. Um, and to all of our attendees, thanks so much um, for hanging on the line with us. Um, and I, I think that's a testament to how um, solid of a presentation this is. So um, for our attendees, thanks for spending a little bit of your day with us. To our speakers, thank you so much. Um, it's clear that you put a lot of time and thought into this project and this presentation. Um, and I look forward to hopefully working with you again on future events. Cheers. <laughs>